That happened at the next stop at 59th and Avenue P, and KMAX Matthew Stell joins us live from over there tonight. Matthew, not really business as usual for that neighborhood business today, huh? Yeah, Brian, this family-owned business thought Monday morning would be like any other one, but it took a turn for a worse that leaves one of their own hospitalized and recovering. Two men ran out of the next stop convenience store with a few Cokes they didn't pay for. That's when the clerk ran after them and was struck so hard in the head he was transported to UMC. Eric Essex, who's lived in the area for a few years, says the friendly clerk didn't deserve this. You know you're not going to last very long, and just doing something like that ain't cool. Everybody got to try to find a way to get by it, and that's that family's way of getting by it. But Essex also adds that he's been in a similar situation. I've worked overnight at a 7-Eleven before, and I have had that happen to me. And I mean, honestly, I didn't go after him because you, it's the middle of the night. You never know who's going to be out there. It just, I mean, it's, it, it always differs with the scenario, but I mean, it, it's mostly how you feel about it. If he felt that he needed to go after him, then that's how he was going to try to protect his store. As of right now, this regular customer knows that his experiences at the local store have been typically great. We know each other. We see each other. We say hi. We say what's up. You know. Uh, you know, it's, it's always just a, it's always a good time in there. We've had a few laughs. You know, we'll tell a couple of jokes. So, and Brian, please say the two men sped off in a four-door blue sedan. So, if you know anything, remember to call Crime Line. Reporting from Central Lubbock, Matthew Stell, KMAC News.